the referee who's taking control of um, this particular contest. And then our second semi-final on uh, map two is uh, the Silva and uh, Merentiano, the Silva of Brazil, Merentiano of Spain. That is on map two. We're going to pay close attention to uh, the contest on map one. We'll let you know what happens with the contest on map two. That's the other semi-final in this category, under 57 kilos. Here's uh, Chete and uh, Sul. Jetta of Turkey in the white judogi, half a head taller than her Azeri opponent, Afag Sultanova. The referee has brought them to the middle, just making sure that they've got a uh, good stance and uh, an appropriate grip, and he calls Hajimi and they get underway. Chete moves to her left and uh, Sultanova attempts a Diashi Barai but that doesn't come off a foot sweep just testing her a little bit with that um, outstretched right foot and it doesn't unsettle um, the Turkish fighter tall and leggy in comparison to uh, Sultanova they both weigh under 57 kilos in between 52 and 57 a little bit of a slip there as uh, Sultanova went rather speculatively for a Tomonagi and uh, miss. That's the uh, stomach throw where she attempted to put her right foot into uh, Chete's stomach and wheel her over. Didn't come off and there's uh, no score. The Turkish girl now attempting to find a way past the legs of Sultanova but... Uh, the Azeri's defence was strong enough and um, the referee decided that nothing was going to come of that particular position and calls Mate and stands the pair back up. Brings them back to the centre where they'll start again and they'll go through the same start procedure as they did right at the beginning of the contest was to make sure that they are close enough together, that they take a good grip and neither fighter has an advantage and he calls Hajime and they get back underway and they are now with um, both fighters circling to their left and uh, Chete beginning to shape for an attack and uh, um, Sultanova goes um, for a drop Sernagi and Chete comes off the wrong side but it's enough to um, score Yuko and now attempting to turn the Turkish girl over and Azeri now changes and comes to the top and looks for uh, a Sangaku entry but decides it's not going to happen and she gives up on that particular piece of work. Here's the um, right-sided drop Marotti Sianagi attempt and uh, Chete coming off the wrong side but landing on the scoring part of her body and giving up a Yuko. So Afag Sultanova leads by Yuko, 3 minutes and 14 seconds left on the clock. The uh, referee calls Hajime. They're in the middle of the mat now with um, Chete looking slightly more positive of the two. More threatening posture that she's got leading with the right leg as they circle to, to the left and it looks as though um, Sultanova is going to be called for an overly defensive posture. Oh, actually, it's a um, passivity warning for Chete. She hasn't attacked. I don't think she's had any um, negative judo, but the, um, the warning is for passivity, not whether you're positive or, positive or negative. I think that's um, worth pointing out. A fighter is warned or penalised if they are passive. So you need to be attacking... And in all honesty, um, Chete wasn't. wasn't that she was looking uh, negative. She, she wanted to find an opening, just couldn't find a, a way through um, Sultanova's posture. And as a result, she's picked up a warning. So one warning against uh, Chete. If she gets a second, there'll be a score given to uh, Sultanova. 
But at the moment, Sultanova leads from her own score, the Yuko, uh, one to nothing. Slim lead, two minutes and 30 odd seconds left on the clock. Nice bit of um, footwork there. I think it was probably a bit higher up. She didn't go so far as to say maybe she caught her up towards the knee. And that's uh, Hizagaruma wheeling her opponent over. Let's have a look and see where the. Um, yep, Hizagaruma it is. Right foot up on the knee as she turns her opponent over. So a second Yuko on the board now for Afag Sultanova and she leads by two Yukos to nothing. On the adjoining mat in the other semi-final in the under 57 kilo category, the silver um, and uh, Merenciano, the Brazilian and the Spaniard, there's no score there as yet. A minute 55 left in that particular contest. Now Sultanova defending here in uh, Niwaza. Just needs to fight off the uh, possible arm lock. Needs to stand up if she can here. And the referee calls uh, Mate. Chete not able to apply pressure to the elbow joint, locking the arm, and, um, which would have made Sultanova submit and bring the contest to an end. That didn't happen, and the referee brings them back to the middle. They stand up now toe to toe. The referee just making sure that neither fighter has a grip that is too strong. And they're just set and ready to fight. Close enough and nice and upright, and he'll call Hajime. And they get back underway with a minute 40 left on the clock. Again, um, Chete circling to her left and attempting uh, a makikomi, but that doesn't come off. And uh, the Azeri Sultanova cleverly hopping in the right direction and avoiding getting caught there a minute and a half left on the clock. De Silva of Brazil goes ahead by Yuko now on map number two in the other semi-final with a minute 28 left over there. Almost um, identical times here. There's a minute 28 left in this contest now as both fighters again in the middle of the map with the Turkish girl looking for a makikomi. That's letting go with the right hand and throwing the, uh, the right leg over. But... Um, Sultanova is up for the defence. A minute and 14 seconds left. Two Yuko still the lead. De Silva has just thrown Merenciano of uh, Spain for Ippon on uh, mat number two. And that brings that contest to an end. And another attempted knee wheel from Sultanova. She's got that technique um, off pretty good, hasn't she? It was a nice um, effort there. And attacking in Nevoza as well. Turkish coach shakes his head and screams for the uh, referee to bring the fighters back to their feet. It's always the other way round when your fighters got two Yukos on the board and you want them to stay on the ground. So I'd, uh, wouldn't take too much notice of, uh, of, of that. It's well handled by Oyama, the referee in the middle. No problems there. Need to allow time for the fighters to work in uh, Niwaza, and that's exactly what uh, Oyama is doing. 45 seconds left to go. The Silva Teixeira of um, Brazil awaits the winner of uh, this contest. Brazilian having won her semi-final. Zeri coach looking on. Must be reasonably confident now with 45 seconds on the board and uh, two Yukos the lead that his fighter can uh, see her way through to the final from this point. Not done and dusted yet though. And there's still a little way to go. We'll see what uh, happens. She's close, but it's not done and dusted yet. Here comes uh, Chete again, one last roll of the dice perhaps as she tries to get this score back. And another knee wheel attempted there from uh, Sultanova. 
cleverly bringing her opponent uh, down to her her knees and now a chance to attack in Nevazo. 20 odd seconds left to go on Matu Kurbanov of Russia and Khalilov of Uzbekistan take to the mat in the under 73 kilo category semi-final 12 seconds left to go in this contest here Chete trails by two Yukos the Turkish fighter up against um, a well-prepared and uh, competent Azeri in Afag Sultanova Sultanova 12 seconds away from the Paralympic final here in London and one last burst of uh, action to come from uh, Chete she fails with that attempt and now Sultanova can just see out the clock here which she does and it's Sultanova who goes in to the uh, to the final she'll face Lucia the Silva Teixeira of Brazil in that final and uh, Chete will have to go down and fight for the bronze medal There's been some action on uh, Matt too, much as we suspected. It was going to be fireworks with Kurbanov and Khalilov, and it's Khalilov who's thrown Kurbanov, the Russian, for Ippon. <laughs> 